Thanks for coming to see my new experiment, everyone. <laughs> Your light is fixed. I gave it a polish, too. Thanks, Fuse. I've practiced so much, I can do it with my eyes shut. Today, I'm going to make a rainbow. Ooh. Oh. First, I pour the colours in. You'll never make that work. I bet I could do it. I've done rainbow experiments like a million trillion times. <laughs> Maybe next time, Bling. Let's watch Smarty Saurus right now. <sighs> oh. OK. I pour each colour into this machine. And a beautiful rainbow will appear. Ta-da! Oh. <gasps> I so knew you were going to get it wrong. It's OK. Give it another try. No, I'm sorry, everybody. I need to find out what went wrong before I can try again. Oh. Typical. Oh. If you don't have the colours in the right order, the rainbow experiment won't work. Just like making a cake. You have to follow the recipe exactly. Yes. That's why all my flasks were in the right order. But they're not now. Look, the colours are in a different order. Hmm, <gasps> how strange. Maybe someone moved them before the experiment. But who'd want to ruin my experiment? I don't want it to happen again. I need to investigate. Who ruins Marty Saurus's experiment? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Let's call this the case of Smarty Saurus's rainbow experiment. What's your first question, Noddy? When did you put your flasks in order? Just before everyone arrived. And I didn't touch them again after that. If you didn't touch them again, maybe someone else did. Maybe someone else was watching the experiment. Who was here? There was me, and you, and Bumpy. And me. And we didn't want to ruin the experiment, so we can rule ourselves out. Deltoid was here too. And Fuse. Pat Pat. The Pockets. The Naughty Corns. They were all really excited about it. <gasps> Bling! Oh, Bling wanted to do the experiment herself. And she said she knew you were going to get it wrong. We need to go and talk to her. Let's go to Fable Forest. <laughs> we'll stay here and tidy up. Thanks, Noddy. Bye, Big Ears. Bye, Smarty Zorus. Good luck. Have you come to see a proper experiment? Actually, I'm on an investigation. I'm trying to work out who ruined Smarty Saurus's experiment. Oh, I can help you with that one. She did. It's, like, mega easy to do a rainbow experiment. Have you actually done one? Well, not exactly. I've never properly, totally, really done one, no. But if I did, I'd be great at it. Oh. Of course you would. So what have you discovered so far? It looks like Smarty Saurus's experiment was ruined because someone moved her flasks before she started. Bling, did you move them? No! I didn't touch anything. I wanted to do the experiment, not ruin it. Hmm. <sighs> Well, if it wasn't Bling, who was it? <coughs> You're right. Let's go back to the Diner Lab and look for clues. <laughs> huh? 
What's this? Oh, look! There's more over there! Hmm. It's sticky. They look like hand and footprints. I wonder who they belong to. Farmer Tom? No, his feet are too big. Pat Pat? No, her paws aren't sticky. The Dead Elm Ninjas? Of course, they've got sticky hands and feet. But they weren't here this morning. Maybe they came into the lab without being seen. Oh! Oh! They aren't ninjas after all. I need to talk to them. Daredevil, here we come! Ninjas? Aha! Huh? Ha! Oh, hello. Did you catch, catch us, us if you can? can. Hi, Wait, come back! Ha! Hey! Oh! Ha! 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 Maybe they did ruin Smartysaurus's experiment. Maybe that's why they're running away. Ah, hey! Yeah. Well played, Noddy, but you'll never catch me. Ninjas are the best at playing tag. Yeah. But I'm not playing. I'm on an investigation. I want to ask you a question. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Please ask us anything you need. Ninjas always want to help. I'd like to know what you were doing at the Dynalab earlier. Did you touch Smartysaurus' science equipment? We were playing tag around the Dino Lab, but we didn't touch anything. Ninja promise. When we heard there was going to be a secret experiment, we stopped our game to watch, but that is all. Hiya! Oh, I see. Thanks. We did see Fuse on his own in the Dino Lab. I know. He was fixing Smarty Saurus's light. Ah, but I am sure I saw him cleaning the flasks. Cleaning the flasks? Really? I'd better go and talk to him. Happy face! Hello, Fuse. Greetings, Noddy. How can I help you? Hey, are you sorting out your things? Correct. I am putting them in order of size. It's the best way to organize a busy workshop. Oh! Fuse, did you put Smartysaurus's flasks in order of size? Correct again. I was helping her. They were all out of order, so I rearranged them by size. Just like in my workshop. Happy face! I think I might know how Smartysaurus's experiment went wrong. Can you come with me? Of course. You see, Fuse did move your flask before the rainbow experiment, but he was only trying to help, not ruin it. Indeed, I put your flasks in size order. But to make the rainbow, they needed to be in colour order. Oh! I am sorry. Sad face. It's OK. Now I know why the experiment went wrong, I can try it again and get it right. <laughs> and I know how you can help me. Happy face! <laughs> so, a little bit of this. Whee! <gasps> and a little bit of that. And... Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, that was pretty... Amazing! <laughs> well done! <laughs> well done, Noddy. How did you solve the case? First, I thought one of the toys wanted to ruin Smarty Saurus's experiment, but they didn't. When I saw Fuse putting his things in size order, I realised he was the one who'd moved the flasks. He was only trying to help. The case of Smarty Saurus's rainbow experiment is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! It is a windy day in Toyland. Noddy knows just what he's going to do today. Wow! What a strong wind there is today. It feels strong enough to knock me over. Whoa! That was no wind. That was you, Bumpy Dog. Good morning. Look at this wind. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. Do you want to come with me, Bumpy Dog? <coughs> then we'll drive into town and buy a kite from Dinodol. Oh, good morning, Noddy. Hello, Dinodol. <coughs> I was wondering if you had a kite for sale. I have that. Now I just have to find it. Hi, Clockwork Mouse. Don't you just love this weather? It's perfect for kite flying. No. Uh, I don't like windy days. I'm always afraid I'm going to blow away. Well, windy or not, Toy Town is pretty lucky. We have delightful weather almost all the time. Yes, I suppose you're right. When it comes to Toy Town weather, there are never any surprises. Thanks for the kite, Dinah. Are you going to fly it now? No. First I need to deliver some milk to Tessie Bear. Bye. Bye. Wow, this milk can is really heavy. <coughs> Hi, Tessie Bear. <coughs> Hello, Noddy. Thanks for bringing my milk. Oh, it's very windy today. Yeah, it's great. Can I use your garden to fly my kite? Of course you can, Noddy. If you promise to take this basket of chicken eggs to Dinodol. That's a deal. Thanks, Noddy. I've got to go and feed my chickens now. Watch, Bumby Dog. With this heavy wind, it'll be easy to get the kite up in the air. It rides the wind so high, high, high. I walk and then I run when I fly my kite. It jumps up to the sky, sky, sky. I have the greatest fun when I fly my kite. Oh no! I never shut the gate! Tessie's chickens will get loose! <laughs> Quick, Bumpy Dog! Help me catch those hens! <laughs> uh, um, uh, what should I do with my kite? Ah! I'll tie the string here! This milk can is heavy enough to hold it! Come on, you chickens! Back where you belong! Shoo, shoo! Phew, all done. Now back to my kite. Huh? Stop, kite, stop! Come down at once and bring back that milk can and those eggs! We've got to stop that kite! You know, Mr Sparks, I was just saying to Noddy this morning, we really do have the most wonderful weather. Is that rain? 
But I don't see a cloud. <gasps> Would you like to buy an umbrella? <laughs> oh, good morning, Big Ears. How are you today? Oh, fine, Miss Pink Cat. Fine. I'm just enjoying this beautiful weather. What? Rain? <gasps> it's milk! Nonsense. I've seen all kinds of weather, and I've never seen it rain milk. I ought to know milk when I taste it. I have been drinking it all my life. And I tell you, it is raining milk. Oh. <laughs> Actually, the rain looks more like eggs. I hate it when that happens. I wish I had more milk. Wow, my wish came true. I wish I had a new bike. <laughs> Here now, who threw that egg? Halt in the name of Lord. Did you throw this egg at me, Clockwork Mouse? Me? Throw an egg? I don't have any eggs on me, Mr. Clock. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, you do now. <laughs> hmm. The problem is coming from up there. This is a very strange weather day. The kite finally came down, Grumpy Dog. Help me look for it. <laughs> You're right, Bumpy Dog. There's the kite. And here's Sussie's egg basket. Oh, but there's no eggs left in it. Oh, and there's the milk can. Oh, but it's empty. I'd better take these things back to town and explain everything to Tessie Bear. Attention, everyone! A reward of five coins is offered to anyone who can solve the case of the strange weather day. Can anyone help me? My milk can is missing from my garden. I'll give a reward of two coins to whoever returns it. There's something very strange going on today, Tessie Bear. Very strange indeed. Look, it's Noddy! Look, Tessie Bear. I have your egg basket and milk can. My milk can? Where did you find it, Noddy? <sighs> it's a long story. Hmm. Well, I want to hear it anyway. Come inside the police station. I want to hear this too. So that's the whole story. The wind took the kite, and the kite took the eggs and the milk. I'm so sorry. I am, I am, I am. That's enough, I am. <laughs> Kite. <laughs> Milk can. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Aren't you mad at me? No, Noddy. <laughs> I think this is about the funniest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you laughing, Big Ears? <laughs> because <laughs> you have to give a large reward to this little rascal who started it all. Huh? Oh, no, no. I don't want a reward, and I don't want any money from Tessie Bear either. I just want everything right again. Well, I can see that this was all just an accident. Tell you what, Noddy. I'll give you enough money to pay Tessie for her lost milk and eggs. How's that? Wow, thanks, Mr. Plod. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Noddy, for giving me such a good laugh. <laughs> Let me take everyone over to Miss Pink Cat's shop for a treat. That 
sounds great, Mr Plod. Let's just not get anything with milk or eggs in it. <laughs> <laughs>